I haven't done names yet. The plan was my original five would keep their names, and then every uh, every additional um, added person that I captured and converted would then get names thereafter. Uh, let's not bury him there. Signing Morgan to the sarcophagus. It's shoddy, but it's the best work I could do. And unfortunately, he died with a... Uh, I don't want to strip him of his gear. I don't strip, strip corpses of her own, but he died with... One of the helmets that I uh, I wished to have kept on him. Gotta watch these shifty workers. They wanted to haul six steel and not a whole armful of it. No, I'm not afraid of uh, infestation. I'll explain why in two parts. One, um, most of my base doesn't have overhead mountain, which is required for infestations. And the only parts that I do have overhead mountains um, are too small to allow it. So an infestation requires 16 cells um, and a bunch of other things. But uh, chiefly, it requires 16 cells in one area to create an infestation. Uh, that is exposed to overhead, and uh, I don't have that here. Uh, but what I do, there are some other uh, other ways to avoid infestations. Uh, the chief one amongst them is just uh, cooling the under overhead mountain area uh, to negative 17 or colder. That will stop an infestation from spawning. Unless they have changed that in 16, but I'm pretty sure they have not. Another way is to fill up all of the cells, all of the areas with furniture. So if you have uh, an infestation zone, you can just plop down chairs or tables or animal beds. Not the sleeping spots, but, but physical objects. And it won't... Because hives require a cell of their own that isn't taken by other other for other reasons uh it won't spawn there so anything that would stop you from building you know another object so obviously like power conduit wouldn't work but uh but there's certainly a lot of things that would work the rats no the rats uh were just training practice Never really intending them to keep them, and I didn't want to have to pay to feed them. So, they serve their purpose, but I have other tasks to do before I am able to uh, train more. You know, I have a lot of construction and things like that. So I got some cargo pods of mortar shells. Pretty close to the base, actually. Um, so walls don't separate cells, so you can't, or I mean doors rather, don't separate cells properly, or at least from what I've read. I think if I opened the dev tools, I could find the inner workings of it, but from what I've read, uh, it has to be separated by walls and doors don't count. So we have the multi-analyzer going here, which should be pretty helpful. So now my research rate here is almost 110%. It would be if I cleaned up a little bit better, I s suspect. Uh, but what I can do is set up uh, just a steel door here.
and close off that room entirely. So a little bit of restructuring here, but close off this room and turn it into a research slash hospital. Yeah, so hypothetically you could. Uh, it might just be easier to just super cool it. You know, put AC in, bring the temperature down to negative 17 Celsius or colder, and uh, that would solve most of your problems as well. You know, nothing spawns in that kind of cold. So if you have some extra power or um, a lot of wood for passive coolers, now I don't suggest that, you could uh, avoid being infested that way. So let's see, Gwen is researching, Trillo is mining and growing, so I'm going to put Davies on constructing. She hasn't really been doing much else. is about to get really strangely shaped but it's purely utility uh, and that's what matters for now is the utility of the room so I have a wild boar that's self-tamed let's just toss it towards my home Now, until I have hospital beds, this bed will double as my hospital. And I'm going to install sterile tile here to promote research speed. I'm trying to get as fast research speed as I can get. So a sterile area with a uh, that is at the proper temperature with a multi-analyzer is about as good as it gets. That's what I'm doing here, if you were wondering. No, area here can maybe eventually become a battery bank or something like that. I'm not quite sure what purpose it might serve, but uh, yeah, maybe a battery bank. Certainly this battery bank looks strange. I don't have any good constructors, so boy, do they fail a lot. One thing to keep my eye open for, I'm going to pause real quick while I look, is if there's any herd animals that have recently zoned in. There's a mega sloth, but hunting one mega sloth might not uh, really yield what I'm looking for, which is a whole lot of meat. There's some boar around here, I guess, but there's not a lot of hunting. I only say that because my meat stocks are really low. I do have a lot of corn that I can cook into simple meals, but the fine meals do keep people happy. On the other hand, because they're both in relationships, uh, all of my colonists are extraordinarily happy. So I don't, I'm not running a, an immediate risk of um, insurrection and uh, dazing and all that unfortunate things that can happen. So I'm going to spruce up the bedrooms just a tad, which also means if I'm planting plants, I need standing lamps and to run a little power to them. Now soon that will be far less of an issue because I'll have a geothermal vent right there powering it, but I don't have anyone that can even tame a mega sloth, so that and mega slots don't haul anything or they don't convoy anything they can 
just haul back and forth, but I don't really have a lot to haul. All right, so we have our um, turret back up and running. I'm curious how much cover this offers if I have slag and an open door in the same cell. Maybe it's even better than them individually. Have a partner and a lovely time every night. Yeah, that does keep people happy, that's for sure. So, I have a lot of wargs coming. I think what I'm going to do, given that this area isn't walled off, and I don't have like a little bunker here for people to, uh, to hide in, is just to hunker down in place. Now, I don't think the wargs are going to be able to take out too, too many of my... Oh, they'd have to go through a whole lot of deadfall traps. But I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna stand back here for safety because I don't want to take any unnecessary risks. But uh, if I do have some of these wargs get through, we'll see. But yeah, this does, of course, answer my my meat problems. I will have quite a lot of meat from these guys. So, they're closing in, and I don't want to get them too, too close. So, I'm going to have my, my colonists here go through the doors and close them on the way through. Now, they don't really know what to do. I've already killed two of them, and a whole lot of them are bleeding pretty severely. Most, about half of the remaining, are uh, somewhat critically wounded. My colonists. Oh, I see. They're they're actually stuck here because of the uh, the wind turbine. Didn't realize that. Which means repairing this door will be pretty important. That's something I need to remedy. I need to probably remove this part of the structure here. But with Trillo, at least, I can get around them like that. Now, a true, um, once I have more power generation and things of that nature, I'll be able to implement another row of turrets back here as security. Gwen is making the trip through... The second door. Not unscathed, but uh, certainly not hurt in any significant way. I'm going to see if she can't attract. I'm watching to see if they're really hammering on that door. But if they can't attract some away from Trillo here. For Trillo then to totally botch the shot. Davies automatically wanted to leave. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea if I could get through. Get everyone out of this sort of trap area here. Now, it's possible that they can't keep that door up, so I'm going to have them retreat back to the base. Yep, that was the right call. The door went down. It does spread the manhunters out a bit. Now, I've had really bad um, luck in the past of people stacking up on one another, and then they end up kind of just shooting each other. But I think if I wait long enough, with no targets that the wargs have, they'll eventually wander into my turrets and get themselves killed. So I'm just going to stay um, on house arrest for a little bit and advance time to see if that is, in fact, what will happen. 
Now I have to change house arrest just a little bit to not include this area. I don't want them going out this door. So let's disallow the doors. So I had a few die to the deadfall traps, one die to the turrets. Unfortunately, my people can no longer get to their bedrooms. They're a little inac inaccessible at the moment. Trillo and all of his masterful logic decides to fall asleep in the kitchen where it's super cold rather than falling asleep in a much warmer spot. God knows why, but he made that decision. Yep, there is a lot of blood to clean up. Some of these um, could be dying. I mean, this this one surely will be dying soon. There's another one that just got knocked unconscious. So although there's a lot of blood to clean up, um, a few of the bleeding ones are terminally bleeding. And we have more and more war wargs finding my turrets to be quarrelsome. Now one thing I want to try, which is probably not advisable, is to get Trillo... I'm going to wait for a window of opportunity to get him into the shooting gallery when there aren't so many wargs standing around him, which might be now. There we go. He's in the shooting gallery now. Which should allow me to pot shot some of them. But because the shooting gallery is double doored, I don't really run the same risks of death that I would otherwise. Alright, so those wargs are beyond dead. They've been exploded. There's only three left. That's not, um... That's not unwieldy. The shooting gallery is definitely helping. Not in a way that I ever thought it would. There's another one. Alright, so there's just a few more now. I'm gonna try to lure them down. One just went into shock. Alright, Trillo's putting some work in here. There's just one left. And they're done. Alright, so it is a really crazily bloody... Oh, really? Another crazy animal? Great. It's a really crazy bloody area around here now. With an exceeding amount of cleaning to do. So I'm just going to prioritize cleaning for a while. Uh, except for my cook. My cook, however, will not clean. It's a rule in my household. If you cook a dinner, you don't clean a dinner. All right, Davies is gonna get a little beat up because I wasn't—I was speeding time up a little bit too much and not micromanaging her. So she'll take some hoof bruises, but nothing fatal. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, this is a nice red carpet. Um, you know, all of the iron and nutrients of these animals are now going directly into uh, directly into my my uh, 
my plants. My plants are now meat eating plants. Alright, so I also have some more slag to haul out of the way. And another turret to replace. Now I do hope that I will start using plasteel turrets as they are a whole hell of a lot more secure than these regular steel ones. Wow. This is bloody effing nightmare here. I hope it just rains. Watch me clean up like all of the blood, right? And then it's just going to rain. I'm 99% sure that that is going to happen because that's the kind of luck I have. Um, so actually I have to move this battery one over as well. 